In the beginning, there was one truck, an ADCO hut and a muddy block of land. 30 years later, over 250 trucks, three mega warehouses and one of the best teams this country has ever seen. But without the love and support of my wife and sons, this journey may never have happened. State transport, it's a state of mind. Albert Sanusa, Managing Director of State Transport. What a journey we have had over the last 33 years. We have multiple sites uh, throughout Victoria. We're shortly to expand into New South Wales. I started off in a small AFCO shed and I can't believe it back in 1989. We have now uh, got uh, over 250 vehicles, uh, a, quite a large complement of staff. And I, I have to say, I'm absolutely blessed. We have some superstars that work for us. And what that means to our valued customers is they, they get great service, delivery on time, in full on every single occasion. We're HACCP certified, we're dairy certified, and we're now organic certified. So please uh, call our team. I know they'd be more than happy to assist wherever we can. Mark Normington is our warehouse, national warehouse manager and the guy honestly is a legend within our industry. So many people know him, he is so well connected, he has so much experience and such a depth of knowledge from container unpacks to full 3PL pick and pack type operations, 4PL. He's worked for some of the biggest names uh, in Australia and we're so fortunate that he's now working for us and is doing an absolutely outstanding job. Uh, at any time, please come visit our warehouses, meet Mark, I know he'll be more than pleased to show you through. Hi, I'm Chris Cole, State Transport's Warehouse Supervisor. Here are a few key safety messages for the warehouse. Before getting on a forklift, always do your pre-star checklist. High visibility clothing and safety boots must be worn on all state transport sites. At State Transport, we have a zero drug and alcohol policy at every site. Never use mobile phones or headphones when using a forklift or any other heavy equipment. Never use a forklift when a pedestrian is in the three metre exclusion zone of a forklift. Always load pallets to the safe working load of the pallet and do not let them overhang. All pallets must be strapped and wrapped to a pallet before being put into a rack. This video covers the correct load restraint for a van. Park your vehicle in the allocated space for loading and unloading. Exit the vehicle and ensure it is prepared for loading or unloading. You must always use a designated walkway to get to the office. Drivers must always wait in the driver safety zone. You must not be in a forklift operational area whilst getting loaded and or unloaded. Always use three points of contact when entering or exiting your vehicle. Ensure each pallet has two angles where the strap will make contact. Make sure the strap is connected correctly and there is no twist. Tighten the ratchet and neaten up the loose end. The minimum equipment for a van is one ratchet strap per pallet space, two angles per pallet space, and one set of gloves. Close your doors and you are ready to go. You now know how to correctly restrain a load in a van. This video covers correct load restraint for one ton trays. On arrival, Park the vehicle in the designated loading area. Once parked, the driver will exit the vehicle and starts the process of lowering the gates. This will ensure the vehicle can get loaded. Once that process is complete, the driver will use the designated passenger walkway to get to the office. The driver enters the office to advise they are ready for loading. Whilst loading, the driver must wait in the driver standing zone. No one is to be in the loading area whilst the forklift is in operation. 
The driver must not approach the vehicle until advised by the forklift driver. The maximum pallet height on this vehicle is 1.8 metres tall. The driver then puts the gates back up and gets the equipment ready to ensure the load is correctly restrained. Ensure every pallet has two angles where the strap will make contact. When strapping, ensure it is correctly connected and clear the area before throwing the strap. Feed the strap through the ratchet and tighten so the load is secure. Lock the ratchet down and tie the remaining strap so it is neat and tidy. The driver then uses the same process to restrain the remaining load. When you have a partially loaded vehicle, ensure that it is loaded against the headboard. Place restraint around the back so it does not move rearward. The driver then uses adequate restraint over the top of the load as previously demonstrated. In this example, he is using two straps as this IBC is 1,000 kilos. The minimum equipment in a one ton tray is one tar, four ratchet straps, one set of gloves and four angles. Now you know the requirements for minimum load restraint on a one ton tray. Emma Martino started with our business about six years ago and hers is a real true story of success, especially for females within our industry. She certainly has broken the ceiling on that uh, 100%. She started off in our admin team doing data entry. She then uh, was promoted into an admin manager's role and then from that into an account manager's role. And then from that, that developed into a more contract specific management role at a much higher level. And I'm very pleased to say she is now our general manager of operations running and looking after both our transport and our warehousing operations and also assisting us with our growth into and onto throughout this eastern seaboard in Sydney and Queensland. What a great story, a fantastic person. I know she loves speaking to people, so give her a call. She'd be happy to explain our services and assist you with anything you possibly could need or ask. We have another staff member called Rob Sanusa. Now his name sounds very familiar to me and that's because he's my son and he's an absolute superstar. <laughs> he's our Director of Operations and he looks at all areas within our business and again, he's a key member of our team looking into and helping assisting our Transport Division and our 3PL and also our expansion into the other states. And again, as with all our team, I know he'd be more than pleased to have a chat to you. If you need any advice, just for a chat, give Rob a call. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to assist wherever he can. Hi, I'm James Crenn. Welcome to State Transport Warehouse and Operations Induction. We have some key messages for anyone who's working in, at State Transport Warehouses. These key messages must be followed not only by State Transport employees, but all visitors who are visiting this site. And not only that, before you enter these sites, you must be inducted. The following are key messages for visiting drivers. There's a minimum of two vehicles at any one site from State Transport, but prior to coming to on site and pulling into the loading dock, please report to the dispatch counter. Always enter via driver's entry door. Safety vests and safety shoes are a condition to enter any of the State Transport sites. You must always follow the instructions from our State Transport warehouse staff. Always arrive on site fit for work. Maximum speed limit at state transport sites is 10 kilometres. You must always complete the pre-trip checks. State transport reserves the right to undertake drug and alcohol testing at any one time. Drivers must stay in the driver safety zone at all times while the truck is getting loaded or unloaded. If you aren't sure of where the safety zone is, please ask. You should never enter a forklift operation area at any one time unless the forklift operator stops and instructs you to come over. Smoking at state transport is prohibited inside warehousing or in office areas. Mobile phones should only be used inside the cabin of your vehicle or in a driver safety zone. All pedestrians must maintain a three metre exclusion zone while forklifts are operating. Emergency spill kits are at all sites in case there's an emergency where a forklift pierces a tank, we can use them. All driver's vehicles must be clean at all times inside the truck because that's part of the condition we have with Woolies and Coles.
Hello, Albert Sanusa from State Transport. It's great to know State Transport operates 24 hours a day, every day, delivering locally and Australia-wide. With three mega warehouses, all HACCP, dairy and organic certified, we can store all manner of goods. State Transport, our people are your solution. State Transport, our people are your solution. Hello, it's Emma Martino from State Transport. With a fleet of over 250 vehicles, from one ton right up to the big semis, State Transport is ready to deliver your goods on time, safely and efficiently, both locally and Australia-wide. We are the time slot specialists. 24 hours, seven days a week, and with State Transport, you're ready to go. State Transport, our people are your solution. State Transport, our people are your solution. Hi, it's Rob Sanusa from State Transport and Warehousing. Do you have a commercial vehicle and looking for a better standard of work? Then call State Transport today. We have work for one and two ton trays and vans, 12 and 14 ton tort liners, right through to semi-trailers. So make the move to a better way of transport. Call our team today, 9587 4433. State Transport, our people are your solution. The moment brought to you by PointsBet. Inside 50 with a long one. Lynch is back there. Aaliyah as well. Castagna oh. just couldn't get boot to ball. And they concede by hand. Robbie Gray rushes the behind. They called for deliberate. That would have been a big call. All clear under pressure. He's allowed to do Robbie that. Gray. He's under pressure. Robbie Gray, the veteran with the veteran smarts. We have such a large fleet of trucks, uh, as I said, uh, over 250 vehicles, and this cannot be organised or managed properly without a key staff member that is experienced in this area, and that's Chris Kipping. He is well known to many of you. I know uh, he takes a lot of bookings himself, so he's very much hands on. And he uh, does an amazing job in coordinating all the allocations, dispatch to the vehicles and he's also part of our customer service team as well. He heads up all the fleet controllers, so if you have any issues, you wish to talk to him, wish to book something, speak to uh, Chris. He's able to uh, make things happen and he's, he's a great problem solver. That's one of his greatest skills. So Chris Kipping, great asset. Here's our Victorian operations manager. Give him a call. I'm often asked, what does state transport do? And what we do, we offer a specialised service in relation to time critical freight. If you need something to be picked up and delivered at a specific time, that's what we're best known for in the marketplace. Also, uh, we do so many DC deliveries to all Coles and Woolies right around Australia, that if, if you need loads matched to the right sort of vehicle to get scale of economies, we have such a depth in our fleet that we're able to deliver cost effective on-time deliveries to all the DCs. And the other big thing we're known for is our 3PL, our actually warehousing operation. We have a full WMS, it can interface with your systems and we can pick and dispatch not only from our site here in Melbourne, but multiple sites that we have and deliver anywhere Australia, throughout Australia. I've often been asked, what's our future? What, what do I see is happening over the next couple of years? And the one word that pops in my mind is opportunity, opportunity and opportunity. It sounds a bit like a real estate ad, but it's opportunity, absolutely. We have so much demand. Uh, there's so much inquiry uh, that we're getting at the moment. The supply chain is under a lot of pressure, but we've been very articulate and clever in how we've been setting up our operations and our expansion plans are remain on foot and we will be in Sydney and Queensland within the next uh, 12 months and have a presence. But as all I can say is opportunity and growth is uh, what we are uh, certainly got in mind and I have to say uh, we cannot do that without the support of our valued customers and we have some absolute fantastic clients and we've enjoyed their organic growth but also we're also pushing ahead uh, with our own growth and, and venturing into different markets. So all I see in terms of our uh, future is opportunity um, and that will be matched with innovation and new technologies that are coming our way and that we'll be able to offer to our customers as well. 
training is paramount here at State Transport. What we have is a number of teams and cells within the business that anyone new coming into the business is able to work with an experienced staff member that can pa pass on, on their learnings and help them grow within the business. And on all occasions, our first opportunity is to, is to uh, recruit from within and promote from within the business. And I've been so pleasing for me to have a business that's now lasted 33 years to see someone who has started in, in a cadetship is now a senior manager within our business and the skill set, the knowledge they have that they can also pass on to our valued clients has been a, of enormous pleasure to me and well done to them with their hard efforts uh, that they've put in in order to get to those roles. So our recruiting is uh, very selective. Uh, we, we look for skill set, we look for people who are innovative and for people who are problem solvers because one thing that I've often asked is you know, what do you do? And yeah, we, we've got trucks, we move things, but what we really do, we're problem solvers. Customers come to us with their issues and we're able to offer solutions. And that's why we're looking for people and we always recruit uh, for people that are innovative and have great problem solving abilities. And that's part of our culture. And the people here develop that as they move through the business. We have a company uh, jingle that goes, our people are your solution. And I have to say, really, it is the people here. A lot of companies have the similar infrastructures, trucks and technology and, and you know, buildings, but really, it's the people that make things happen. So our people are the solution. They do magnificent things for our clients. They're great problem solvers, but in their own right, they're great people, awesome to work with. They have sustained me, and they certainly are intricate and, and so important to our future and as we move forward. So. Our people are your solution, give them a call, I think you'll be very happy when you chat to them.